Gotta tell me if you love me, love me, love me, love me. Good morning, good morning, and happy Cinco de Mayo weekend, y'all. I was like, we are not going to stay inside this whole weekend. We just going to go outside just a little bit. I mean, we ain't outside having fun, but we outside looking at house stuff. My friend did invite me over to something on, which was Friday, for actually, like, to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. De Mayo, and I was like, de Mayo, de Mayo. Y'all yeah, yeah, know what I'm trying to say. But I was like, I don't have nothing to wear. Like, literally have nothing to wear. All of my clothes is packed away. So, I was not about to be trying to stress, trying to find an outfit. So, I look a mess. I mean, it's it's put together, but it's not put together. So, we about to go to at home and see what they have there. There's some things in Target that we saw yesterday that I really, really love. It was so cute. You want me to do it, baby? No. Oh. Um, that I really, really love. And then... We did get some stuff from Hobby Lobby. We got some stuff for the kids' room. We got some stuff for the kids' room. So I'm excited to kind of decorate that room. And then we got some stuff for the actual, like, living room. But anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all when we get to home good or at home. Yeah. I really wish I would have vlogged yesterday so I could have showed y'all what I'm talking about when it comes to, like, this Target stuff. But I want something like this to sit on the table and put like a candle, maybe a vase or something right here. I kind of like this like rustic look a little bit. That's so cute. And then I want to do some like gold mixtures and stuff. I like this. I'm guessing, is this a flower plant? Oh yeah. I like that a lot. Oh, this is so cute. It's not giving like the actual gold that it really is on camera, but it's so cute. I like this face that Aisha got to wear. Let me about to knock stuff over. I never really shopped at home at home because I always felt like it's like it's kind of pricey. But now that I'm in here, I'm like it's not even that expensive. This is only twenty three dollars. Oh, they got the little. Those are really bright gold. I like the I like that one. Which one? This How much one. it is? Oh, that's cute. The pompous could go in there. The one we just got. Mm -hmm. Will it go with it? You don't think so? I don't know. I will have to. I don't like that this camera is not picking up, but I really I don't know what we would do with a musical note in our house, but it looks so cute. But look, I really y'all gotta pay attention. Look at this. $54.99. $49.99. They the same thing. Literally the same thing. So you gotta be careful. Oh. Oh, it was. 
So it's just they didn't put the sticker on there. Okay, I take that back. They just didn't change the stickers because it literally says was now. So look at the giraffes. Y'all, these vase are so cute. Vases, so cute. I really like this one. I love the shape of this one. I wish this wasn't blocking it. Let's go ahead and push it up. They plastic, but this right here, baby, this the one. I like her. I thought it was like a glass or something or like clay. But these are gonna see his ass inside of that hole. Girl, bye. I hope I did not get copyright, but I saw this lid organizer. I really want the lid organized. I really want like everything organized for the kitchen. So I want this lid organizer. It's only $13.99. And then this is the other thing I want for underneath the um, bathrooms, but I also want it for underneath the kitchen sink. So I like this, the lid organizer, and then with his furniture, it's kind of cute. It's small, but I kind of like this. Let's see what I look like sitting in this chair. Come on, baby. I'm not doing this steady. I'm trying to see what I look like sitting in it. I don't feel like I look too small in that. Me and Aisha is big enough in that, so it fits. I, I think I'm just so used to our couch at home right now being so big and so tall that I feel like that's the size. But I feel like this fits the theme and it's very affordable because, yeah, I like that price. Y'all, yeah. yeah, I'm genuinely surprised that at home. I think I was expecting like more expensive stuff than what I saw. It's very affordable. I don't know why I always thought at home was expensive. But anyway, I need to, um, I really need to make a mood board of what, like how we want each room to be decorated so I can stop changing my mind. Because every time I see something that I'm like, I'm like, oh, let's do this, let's do this. And the theme is just gonna be a whole bunch of things. We are gonna have farmhouse, modern, luxury, bohemian, like girl what is going on so i gotta really figure out what it is that i really like i'm really we're really liking the farmhouse vibe but we also like the luxury modern vibe as well so right now i'm thinking like bohemian i'm at farmhouse and i keep seeing bohemian i like that too but i keep mixing them all together anyway i need to do that but anyway we about to go to the why do i keep saying anyway but anyway, but anyway, but that shit is so annoying. Um, we about to go to churches because we don't have churches where we at, so, yeah. Yeah, look at this. This would be so cute if it would like match the house for Diesel, like his cute little room set. I'm a mess. But we back in our favorite furniture store. We saw that they had a new location, so we wanted to see what they had in this furniture store. So, yeah, we just about to kind of look around. Y'all, <laughs> I'm already changing my mind on what what it is that I want. I, I really need to create this mood board like ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. But look, I feel like this just right here. This is everything we need and want. I don't like none of this stuff, but it's, it's like everything. You see how they even put the little brown mm -hmm. couch? Y'all, we spent probably an hour in American Furniture. We actually found the perfect recliner we wanted like oh it's so nice it's so it was on sale but somehow they took it out the system like they deleted out the system and they had to do a bunch of stuff to put it back in just for us to buy it and i'm like you know what maybe that's not that must be a sign for us not to buy this until we officially close on our house and it's not 100 percent what we want but it's still nice. Like it's big. I just like it because it's a space and our living room is huge, but it throws off the vibe of where we said we wanted to do with the, the living room all together. Cause it's not what he said. And so he finally get it in the system. He was like, I went over there and I was like, you know what? Never mind. We're not going to do this. Y'all this lighting sucks, but how I look ain't important. 
I went over there to say, never mind. We're just not going to do this. Maybe it's not the right time. He was like, no, it's perfect. The, like, it literally just got in the system as we were walking up. And I'm like, all right, cool. So he's go. He's like, I got good news and bad news. And I'm like, okay, what's the news? But he don't want to say. But I'm literally standing right next to him. And I hear him call the IT people again. And they're like, he's like, um, it's only for the customer to pick it up. Like, I, they want to do delivery. And so the guy was like, well, you got to get back out of the system for them to do it. So he's trying to get out. And it was still, it still sounded like too much. And I was like, you know what? Yep, time to go. Because if he's not telling us that it's a bigger discount, because he said good and bad. I didn't hear the good. Maybe the good was that it was in the system. But the bad news was he still had to call back. That's probably what it was. Because mm -hmm. when I asked him what was the good and bad news, he said, it's okay, never mind. So... I was like, you know what? Yo, let's just go. On the freeway. We'll just come back to this another time. I'm gonna go straight up. Here. And because I can get on the freeway, so. figure this out. So yeah, we about to go home. Probably got to grab something to eat. We did say we want some ice cream. We might just have to go. Oh, I was mm -hmm. gonna say we probably could have just went to the right. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. And that's why they did that U-turn. Okay, y'all, I'll be right back. Good morning, you guys. Happy, happy Sunday. So I just threw on an outfit, or I just threw on something really quick because I wouldn't call it an outfit. I threw on something really quick because we're about to get our wax. Y'all, I'm so loyal because your girl is well past overdue. But my waxer that I go to, she called off last week, and I was like, uh-uh. Just put me on her books for next week. So I'm a week past due. I was already... Yeah, and yeah, I just cannot wait to get this good old wax. But I also want to go to Target because they have the coffee maker that I want. And it's on sale for $100 when it's typically $130. And I'm like, that's a save. Because I was about to settle for a smaller size coffee maker for $100. And then this one is a... It's still... Yeah, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. So, I think we're going to go right now. I'm about to wash these sheets, so I'm not making up the bed because I'm about to put them in the washer right now. But I think we're going to head out just a little bit earlier so we can go to Target and then get our wax. And then we'll probably come back home and finish um, cleaning a little bit more. The kids' room is, like, completely done. The only thing they have is literally their bed frame and mattress. That's not coming with us. We're throwing that in the trash. So their room is done. I clean out their bathroom, kind of. They're going to be here next week, so they're going to mess it up. So I don't really care too much. And I didn't do anything with the oldest room. He can do his own room. But for the most part, that side of the house is done. We still haven't really tackled our room yet. I need to go through those two drawers because they look a freaking mess. And then downstairs, I need to kind of like, oh, it's still a lot. It's still a lot that needs to be done. But we're literally closing. I'm, I only count the work week. So we close in five freaking days. And I'm so excited. Because, baby, this has been a journey. Okay, y'all. So I'm really rocking the natural bald look today. And then this is today's wax outfit. I put on a bodysuit, which I probably shouldn't have done. But it's okay. Oh, the smoke detector is so annoying. I'm so sorry. But anyway, um, bodysuit, flowy skirt, and just my white Reebok. So, yeah, let's go. When you come out to the garage and you realize you did not park in here. Yeah, my car is outside because we were throwing stuff in the trash. But since I'm out here, let me show y'all. So, this is the pompous that we bought from Hobby Lobby. I don't know what it looks like. I don't want to open it. But it was... $22.99 and I got it on sale. They had 40% off and I bought everything that was on the rack, which was four of them. So I got this. But this is what I really wanted to show y'all. I need to take it in the house, but I haven't. So um, the kids are gonna have like this comic book theme room. Um, so I got the letters that says comic and they're all, it's like Marvel. I can't say comic book theme. They're gonna have like a Marvel theme. But Marvel comic book, I feel like it's the kind of the same vibe. So I spelled out comic for these. And then we got this. The glare is kind of hard to see. But these pictures, they're just, they're like 3D kind of. They're so fire, they're so dope. 
and then these ones were giving me more of the comic book page feel so i'm excited to really like put that room together so yeah i'm so excited to see like what their room is gonna look like y'all i have no um interior decorating in my body in my soul it's not there but we're gonna see what we're gonna be able to pull together because if your girl pulls some stuff off and this house is giving <sighs> baby you ain't gonna be telling me nothing okay because i've never decorated a home like never decorated a home but anyway let me grab my bag let's go y'all i'm officially back home i took y'all but i didn't take y'all out <laughs> it was just like regular like Stuff. like i went to target went back to target to see y'all i'm still so undecisive with this kitchen decor i think i'm gonna just hold off on that too like at this point i'm like okay Denisha, i think you just need to hold off on the decor until we move into the house we deck like do the basics and then start filling it out to see like what goes but because i'm changing it's just y'all anyway i'm back okay I ended up getting a new coffee machine because mine has been messing up and it's red. I don't want this red. I want to have all black. The last time we had like, it was supposed to be like a red and black theme, but I never, I never finished. So, so now I just want all black. So I got a new coffee maker and I just wanted a mini one. This one is not that big, but it's too big. And it was on sale, so we got that. Diesel, you got and then, Diesel! Simple. We got this Lil Yachty or Yachi's Pizza. It's, it's this Lil Yachty, Yachi, whatever. It's this Buffalo style chicken pizza. And I saw it, I saw it a couple of weeks, I saw it a couple of weeks ago and I was like, mm, but today I wanna try it, so. We gonna try that pizza. We only got five more days. Why? Well, I, I keep saying five more days, but we still gonna be in this house. I keep thinking like, oh, we only got five more days to deal with this minimalistic life. But no, we don't. Anyway, I'm about to make this pizza. I'll be back. Y'all, I just cut this pizza like in half. But I wanted to show y'all, it looks good and it smells so good. Like, it smells really good. I'm excited to try this pizza. Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> nah, you shouldn't there talking shit. What squeaky toy he got? What squeaky toy he got? God damn, he found one squeaky toy. He didn't even like that popcorn toy. Y'all, I realized, like, you know how, like, they be like, don't give kids toys that make noise? I didn't know that same rule applied with dogs. Like, when I had bought these, all these, like, they was his favorite. But, baby, them fucking shits will be a, so annoying. Oh, it's hot. Here, baby. And I was like, I'm not gonna ever get him a squeaky toy again not ever well, you know who unless it comes in his monthly subscription his, box his monthly subscription box is there. but Thank you, baby. but let me try this with y'all real quick oh it's good this is good i could do this again Come on, add me some ranch. Oh, yeah. Oh, just about to say. Here she go, yeah. So I was taking pictures because I'm putting the stuff up on offer up. So I cleaned off the couches and everything. And now that the couches are clean, um, I don't know if I want to sell them. I haven't seen the couches like look this bare and clean since the day we, you know, first got them. And I am kind of loving them. I wanted to get rid of the couches because they're missing like buttons and then y'all know a couple months ago on this side of the couch like I spray painted it black because I was gonna try to spray paint the whole couch but I don't know I'm I'm genuinely not a decorator I don't know what to do when it comes to decorating and we've always lived in apartments that we never felt 
comfortable in enough to decorate like i never wanted to be too comfortable in these apartments because we be moving like every year so it's like by the time you spend all that time decorating it's time to leave again so i never really wanted to fully like invest and buy stuff because again we be moving so now that we're actually buying our house like we can really take the time to like decorate the house and make it ours and i'm like dang now we could probably see what this couch like full potential is and we never we never sit in the living room like never sit in the living room so i mean it will still be just couches that's kind of for show anyway so to spend all this money on new furniture for us probably not to be in there will be a waste so i don't know i haven't really decided on what to do i haven't found furniture that sticks out to me like i'm so in love i really want this like they all feel like a settle so i'm like you know what maybe we should just keep this furniture until you know we find the furniture we want but we literally closed in five days like five days like i'm so excited like by the time y'all see this we would have already closed and y'all should be seeing the house tour in the next video it's gonna be so much diy projects we're gonna be doing y'all i'm so excited i've always wanted to be a diy girl like that's always been a thing every time i tell somebody at work about like doing something they're like huh like aren't you gonna buy no i'm not paying no contractor no I can do it like literally we want to paint the whole house that's something me and Ayesha can do it, it's not that hard to paint at least I don't think it's that hard but good morning how are you good morning how are you good morning it's Tuesday four more days it's Tuesday it's Tuesday four more days i don't know what i'm doing y'all <laughs> but we got the official clear to close yesterday i am so excited y'all was so excited i was i just wanted to scream all day like i was so anxious at work like i could just i couldn't hold it together like i'm so excited i'm so excited do, 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 do completely off because i told y'all that my hair was falling out so i ended up cutting it off i haven't worn my like natural hair i've been throwing on that hat so this is about to be like my first time like going outside or like to work with my hair like this i just the hat is killing me i don't want to like put the wig on until like i go somewhere y'all today i just look a hot ass mess like this shirt is wrinkled as hell like i just i just don't care we're in the process of moving and getting our life together i only have a few shirts out i don't have a lot of clothes out and i just i just don't care i just genuinely don't care when we get in the new house you know girl it's a stain on this shirt you know what I gotta go. I just wanted to share the good news with y'all. That was it. That is all. Baby. <laughs> if it ain't one thing, it's another. Okay? So, I'm... Y'all, excuse this damn smoke detector. I'm not changing it. I'm not. I'm not. And this morning, y'all saw me. I was real hyped, right? I got up so early today. I got up at like 5 o'clock. And I usually don't get up at 5 o'clock. But I was downstairs. I was packing a little bit more. I think y'all saw this area like this is like what I did um this weekend I had like kind of moved all these boxes I used to kind of help me move the heavier boxes down here so I end up putting all these down here the kids TVs are down here so yeah there's that and then I told y'all that I needed and then I was telling y'all there was then you know was stuff up here that I needed to figure out what to do with so i got all of that down this morning and then i put it right here because i still need to figure out what to do with it i was about to throw the whole thing in the trash and something was like don't you should go through it and i'm glad i did because it was my notary stamp in there so for whatever reason i went in this closet for whatever reason because i mean the stuff in here is pretty much well 
Now it's pretty much, I was gonna say this stuff in here is pretty much packed. I forgot I had stuff. This was supposed to be my work closet. Like it literally only had my work professional clothes. And then I realized I didn't need to dress like that. So they're still in here, but yeah. Anyway, this is the problem. I come in here to a leaking water heater. What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that freaking black mold? Oh my gosh. And it's like literally leaking right there. Like I don't need this kind of problems. And this is the other leak. They literally just came. They came to fix this last year. Ooh, this damn smoke detector is pissing me. Every, every, at this moment, everything is pissing me off. Like why? They literally just fixed this last year. Y'all know this AC don't work down here, but I never care because we we don't be down here. Um, but I'm about to just let them know that this AC don't work and this freaking water heater don't work. But I just, I just, I'm like, I'm so happy we moving. Like at this point, and the fact that we actually asked them to buy this, I'm, uh, I'm happy that like everything happens for a reason. I'm happy they wasn't able to sell or ready to sell. I'm so happy because we would have been stuck with all these freaking problems. The AC, the freaking, those are all expensive fixes. Ain't nobody got time. They can keep this. They can keep it. But I'm about to go to work. I'm going to deal with this problem. I'm going to go to work. So yeah, I just had to tell y'all that because I'm like, what the fuck? Exactly. He would run up, up them stairs so quick. Okay, y'all. I am home. So, I'm imagining that water heater just started leaking today. Because when I came home from lunch, the, um, the water drain was so full. So, I'm imagining the problem started, like, within today or yesterday because that thing like I said is so freaking full but I'm about to feed diesel so I mix the dry food with the soft food and I've been trying to be cheap and like I usually do half and half but I don't feel like buying him no dog food. So I've been trying to mix it for like three days. But I don't like how that's given. So we just going to keep doing what we've been doing. Which is half and half. Oops. Now me spilling it all over the place. Diesel weasel. Diesel weasel. He went straight to that ball. Straight to the bow. Anyway, I'm about to do a quick target. Let's do a quick target haul. Y'all, I, I gotta stay out the stores, but I think I told y'all, or maybe I didn't tell y'all. I don't know what I have and haven't told y'all, but the kitchen is the focus. Like, that is my priority. Like, I really want to have the kitchen done and decorated. So, I'm buying everything mainly for the kitchen, and then we'll work our way to the rest of the house. So, I want a coffee station, and I haven't decided if I wanted to use, like, this. To store the K-Cups or put it underneath it. But I'm thinking that I'm going to still have like some at the top. And then I'll just store some in the bottom of the cabinet. I'm not 100% sure. And then I bought this Keurig, the mini one. But I just saw in Target right now, they have another coffee maker. And it's black and gold. And that's literally the kitchen. And I think it's for $50. So I kind of want to take this back and exchange it for the non-name brand. Simply because of the colors of the coffee maker. So I haven't decided because this has silver. And I don't want the silver. I really want gold. But the air fryer has silver. So I don't know if I want to make it like a big deal. But I really don't want the silver. Um... 
and then i'm also mixing like the bamboo vibe in there so i got this little stand this was like what is this called so i got this footed tray and then i got the salt and pepper shaker i would never if it wasn't for the purpose of like me really trying to decorate i would never spend 15 dollars on a freaking salt shaker but i wanted to sit on by the stove kind of like this and then there's something else that i want to put right there it's gonna be so cute so cute and then i got the wooden cookbook stand And the last thing I got was this tray. And again, they had a gold one. And this one has black, but I like this one because it spins. And the other one didn't spin. So I got this one. And then I want to get a vase to put on top of this. And I don't know what else I'm gonna put on top of it. I was gonna y'all target is expensive like i got what four five items and this cost me a hundred a hundred and eleven dollars like this i feel like i look like a little boy what? like with my hair like this like i really look like a little boy i don't think i'm packing this stuff what? This is stuff that we're just gonna like take with us like in the car when we like travel there. We're just gonna take this because I'm not packing nothing else. I'm tired of packing all this random shit I keep buying. It'll just go in a car and we'll just take it. And it's Dizo's bath night. Well, his bath night was actually on Sunday and I didn't give him a bath. So I gotta give Dizo his bath. His bark box came. So let's see what we got in the box to today huh baby what we got in the box today not this is why they gave him a girl box i'm upset this is this is fairy tales and i'm upset because we got a unicorn and then we got this wand. I'm upset. I'm canceling the box. I literally said he's a boy dog. Why are we getting girl toys? I got, we got emails. Is there anything important? No. Okay. Oh, I wonder if that was an important. Not at, not at 6 o'clock. That was a different call that I just got. That could have been for the, um, the AC. So this is different, this pork liver crunchies. We didn't have this one before. Let's see if he likes this. This one was made in Canada. Lisa, you wanna try this? Why do you, you can't get the girl like the girl like toys? Hmm. 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 Oh, and then it's the Jackaloops again. I like those, but I don't really give him. I like these, but I don't give him these ones that much. And then we got the pumpkin honey. Wait, what is this? And then this is a small chew for the pumpkin and honey. I'm, I'm upset about this box. I mean, I guess you can't like them all, but I am genuinely upset about this box. Like, give me my money back. Give me my money back. Okay, this is Diesel's little soap collection. So I like to bathe him with this one first because it gives him no like wet dog smell, but it doesn't have a scent. It's literally unscented. And then this was my favorite. Um, this mango peach, like it does really, really well. 
I'm not really, I try, I try up every brand just to see if I like it. But now I got this from Burlington. First of all, this soap was only $3.99 and they have all of these like dog soaps for $3.99 and I spent like $8 on all of these soaps. So this is now my favorite, the one that's from Burlington. It soaps so well and it's a shampoo and conditioner and it has a juicy, it has a juicy apple scent. Freaking love this scent. So yeah, he has like three of these. These don't really work. I really don't even use these to be honest. This was a waste of money, but whatever. Because he bathes like every three days. And I make him like a real bubble bath. I know this ain't dog shampoos, but this is what he gets with the bubble bath. Like, cause his sub, his um doesn't give him bubble bath, so I give him the men's um shampoo and conditioner body wash just to give him bubbles. Okay. <laughs> this is so. Probably should have used a chicken one. Let me um, um brushing your hair or your your bone. How much did he ate? Is it almost gone? Yeah, it's in his mouth. Don't keep it. Oh, that's a long. He got a lot of hair now. Mhm. Mm It's a big old bun now. Jesus, you should have let me dry your face. He wasn't feeling that heat today, I think. Usually he be cold. Mm -hmm. He be shivering. But today he wasn't shivering. So I don't think he was cold. You know what? It ain't looking like that shaper dog. Right What's Shaper Dog? Yeah, the one dog that said he look like uh, Steven, you're looking like an old man with this. He really do look like an old man. Donnie. He look like an old man in the face. He do. He look real old man. <laughs> Y'all, he didn't really let me um blow dry his face like I normally do. I don't know. I think it was because it was hot. It's hot in here. He usually be shivering. But I didn't get to blow dry his face as much as I used to usually. And then he got a big little ponytail today. His hair don't grow out so much. But, yeah. So, I feel accomplished. Now I'm about to go to work. Mm. You take a bite on your ears. My hair. Oh. <laughs> I weave my hair back and forth. <laughs> you ready? These are paw. Good boy. Do you remember other one? Nope, other one. This one? Good boy. These are speak. I, I want to real speak. Speak. 
Good boy. Don't try to give me that little ass. Like, what was that? <laughs> These are down. Down. Good boy. Roll over. Good boy. <laughs> Sit. I didn't say roll over again. Sit. Sit. These are sick. Good boy. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. No, roll over. Roll over. I said roll over. Roll over. <laughs> Y'all, like like <laughs> this ice cream right here, this yeah. strawberry cheesecake, oh my gosh. Bust in. You must, gotta get it. Gotta get it. This freezer look a mess. It's okay, because we're gonna be refrigeration goes in the next house. Anyway, we about to end this video with a shot. I know I looked a mess this whole, y'all, I'm gonna get cute. I'm gonna get cute in the next video because your girl been feeling like a boy this whole video. But I'm gonna get real cute on the next video. Okay, but we're excited y'all, like so excited. Like we have so much, what she was gonna say baby? Cause I'm just trying to take the words that she was about to say cause I think I know what she was about to say but I don't know what she was about to say. And the camera about to die so I need her to hurry up. Uh, what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. Out of all the shit, like, we done, we done been through some shit, y'all. <laughs> I just say, like, we done been through a lot of fucking shit in, like, the last few years. And it finally seemed like everything that we've been saying has finally manifested itself in real time. Period. <sighs> So we're taking a shot to finally getting the clearance to clear on our home. We're going to sign the papers on Monday. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so, so excited. The next video, y'all, she'll, the next video y'all will see will be us um, doing the house tour. And then we'll have a vlog of like us having like the whole escrow and a few vlogs after that but i'm trying to hurry to take a shot if the, if the battery died then the battery died but cheers yeah. cheers to new beginnings let me hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up, hurry up. let me just period